morning. Good morning. Welcome to your yoga practice. Hi, my name is Kelly. <laughs> Good morning. Very quickly. There I am. Okay, sound is on and this morning drill before going live. All right, good morning. Let me fix something real quick. Hold on, pause. All right, welcome. Hi, Maxwell, where have you been? You're all dirty. What are you doing? You're all dirty, look at you. All right, so good morning. My name is Kelly. Thank you so much for joining me for your yoga practice. Let's get started. Today's practice will be about warming up the lower body, stretching, relieving any tension in the lower body, and then we'll work on a variation of doing bridge pose and potentially coming into wheel pose. I'll teach that as well at the, sometime during the class. You don't need any weights today, but you do need a block. So grab a block, let's get that. Grab a block, oh, I have a block already. I didn't even say I did that. So <laughs> grab a block for your practice. And so the question is, should you grip your glutes and black and back bends? Often it's taught to to not grip the glutes, to let them, you know, just kind of be there. And but then the next question is, do you need to engage the glutes? Definitely you do. So I'll show you how to engage the glutes the best way, so that you have a stronger back bend or feel feel better in your back bends and have a healthy back bend practice. Glute bridge is, our bridge pose is a back bend and three great reasons why your body loves glute bridge is because it strengthens the glute muscles, the one of the strongest, largest muscles in the body. And then the other thing is that when you do bridge pose, it creates stamina in the body and the muscles because it's an isometric hold. And then the third thing is that when you're doing glute bridge, there are, there are variations that are lots of fun, and we'll do those later on in the class, okay? So let's start by grabbing your block. We'll start with the block, and lie down on your mat. I'm on. Take a block on its thin side and place it between your legs, and kind of line it up right there in between your thighs, so that you're you're getting the you're feeling the more of the length of the block between your legs and then you're going to bring your feet closer to your glutes if you put your hands on the mat your middle finger might touch the right the edge the the heel all right so now first press the shoulder blades down and you can kind of pull the, the shoulders blades underneath you and just Hang out here for a moment and then press your lower back into the floor like that. Just feel your feet pressing into the floor right there. Press your toes down. Now with your lower back pressed down, which tilts your pelvis, press your palms into the floor and lift up right there. The first one, if you need to move the block because it's uncomfortable, just move it out just a little bit right there but keep it the same direction as your thighs. Squeezing the glutes, lower down and tap the back and keep that pelvis tucked right there. All right, so now squeeze the block, lift your feet off the floor, right there. Press your shoulders down, relax the shoulders, set your feet on the floor, right there. Tuck your pelvis, lift up your glutes and hold for a breath, inhale, exhale, lower down, keep the pelvis tucked right there, then lift the feet up off the floor, 
and then set your feet down. Pelvis tucked, lift up, squeeze, maybe lift a little higher this time. And so the great thing about having a block or starting this way is that you're starting out initially squeezing or using the, the inner thigh muscles, the leg adductors. So using the lower, the adductor muscles to support the lift, lifting up and hold. Hold this for three counts, two, and then one, and then lower down. Now let's remove the block. All right, a second, second pose for glute bridge is to, again, tuck the pelvis, no block between the legs, and then press into the hands, press the shoulders down first, so you're kind of spreading your, your chest apart. Lift up right there, keep your pelvis tucked. Now lift your right heel and set it down, left heel and set it down. Press your palms down. Maybe you bring your shoulders underneath you more. Lift up. Relax the neck. Relax the jaw. So alternate lifting your heels right and left. And then lower down. Press the lower back, tilting the pelvis, and then lift up. And this time, press the hands into the floor, let the right foot hover, set it down. Let the left foot hover and set it down. Do that again on the right side, right foot hover and set it down carefully. Not too high, just a little bit of space between your foot and the floor and set it down. Keep your pelvis tucked, one more, and then lower down. Press the lower back into the floor, tucking the pelvis. In this variation, I want you to extend the right leg straight like that. And you can flex your foot so that you have control of where the leg is. It it's, has integrity. Press your hands into the floor. Press your back. Tuck that pelvis. Your knees are kind of in alignment. The leg is 45 degrees. Now lift up and hold right here for three Press your hands down, two, feel that left side mostly, and then one, and then lower. Put your foot down. Tuck your pelvis, press the lower back into the floor. You're pulling your navel down towards the mat, engaging your transverse abdominus muscles right there. Now, left leg straight, knees kind of align, line up your knees right there. Flex your foot, press into the right foot, lift up right there. Hold for three, two, and then one, and then lower down. Set your foot down. Nice. Bring your right ankle on your left knee and bring the legs in for supine pigeon pose. Press the knee away, flex your feet. Do a little rocking over into the left side right there, piriformis stretch. Relieving any tension in the hip and this or the side of the hip. And then the lower back. Now change sides. So just place your left ankle on your right knee. Reach through and grab behind the hamstring. Press the left knee away. And you can flex your feet. Shift into that right side for a moment. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then center up, cross your ankles and roll up. Come onto your hands and your knees, scoot to the middle of the mat, spread your fingers, press the fingertips down into the mat, extend the right leg back straight, pull your abs in, there you feel your glute right there engaged on the right side, reach the left arm. So now balancing two points of contact on the ground Flex your foot, reach the arm. So your arm is beside your ear rather than down here. You're reaching right beside the ear, abs in. Now set that down, chain sides. Tuck your right toes, left leg out straight right there. Flex your foot, then reach your right arm right there. Relax the shoulder or pull the shoulder back into its socket. 
All right, there. Three, two, and then one. Place your hand on the floor, tuck your toes, lift your knees, downward facing dog. Pedal your heels right and left. Then lift your heels up off the mat really, really high like you've got on high heel shoes. Lift your right leg up straight. Reach the left heel towards the back of the mat. Feel your hamstring right there. Stretch. Step your right foot forward beside your right thumb. Set your left knee down. Let's get that nice low lunge stretch under Nayasana. Exhale, hands to your heart, shoulders rolled back, looking forward. Hinge your body forward and just twist, a little twist, light twist right here. Elbow on the outside of your, or on the top of your knee. And use that as leverage to rotate just a little bit more. Draw your elbow in, relax the shoulders. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, place your hands on the floor. Ardha Hanumanasana. Press your heel down into the ground right there. Flex your foot. I know this is awfully hard for most people. I did not. I got here after a lot of a long period of time of working on hamstring pliability, <laughs> flexibility. Now place your foot flat. Let's twist. Left hand on the floor. Reach out. Right arm up. Stretch. And then reach underneath and rotate through, elbow points towards the floor. Inhale, reach, lizard with rotation. Point your elbow towards the mat, inhale, reach. And then rotate under, point the elbow right there. Inhale, reach. One more time. Now place your right hand on the floor, press into the mat, bring that right leg back, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Right there, keep your hips high so that when you shift forward and you look between your thumbs, you can bring that foot closer to between your hands, set your knee down. Anjaneyasana, inhale, reach your arms up. So knee in the front, right over your ankle, press your toes down, exhale, bring your hands to your heart, roll your shoulders back. Now hinge your chest forward, turn your shoulders, elbow, to the outside of your knee or right there on just the top of it, but use that as leverage to twist and rotate. Right there to that point of feeling just comfortable, feeling the twist, lower back stretch. Good job. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana, so you half split pose, press your heel down into the mat, lift your heart. Hamstring stretch, slide your heel forward, walk your hands forward, take a breath in and breathe out. Set your foot flat, right hand on the floor, lizard with rotation, reach up and stretch. And when I come into this pose, you guys, I automatically turn my foot out just, just slightly so I have this nice, com comfortable reaching up and then rotating under the or in between and then behind the opposite arm. And you want to shift your hip forward so you have good space and you stretch the lower back right there. Do that two more times. One more time. Feels so good. And then place your hand on the floor. Press into the floor. Push the ground away. Downward facing dog. Pedal your heels. Step forward. Malasana. Turn your toes out, sink your glutes down, elbows on the inside of your knees, look forward, thumbs to the breastbone, right there, the center of the chest, if you can, bring it all the way in. Now, abs contracted, press into your heels and hold this position for five, four, three, two, one, press into your feet, lift all the way up, inhale and reach up. Feel the thighs release. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Step to this front of your mat, hands to your hips. Now, lift up your right foot off the floor, bend your right knee right there. Shoulders back, feel your hamstring engage, your glute engage. 
It's pressing into that left foot, standing tall. Now bring the right knee up to your chest, right here, all the way up, pull it in, lower back stretch. So the pelvis is tilted just like when we came up in, into that bridge pose. Bring your leg to the side, hold. Place your foot on the inner thigh and hold. Bring your hands to your heart and relax your jaw. We'll soften into the pose, even though you're trying to balance. It can be tough. Stay with me. Inhale, reach up and stretch your arms overhead. Reach up, but then relax the shoulders down your back. And then reach the arms down to the sides all the way. Lift up your right knee. We're going to move into a flow sequence right here. From the right leg forward. Bring the right leg back and just slowly creep the leg back behind you using the glute strength on the left leg, that left leg strong. Reach the right leg behind you and set your foot down slowly and comfortably. Tuck your toes under back there, your right knee over your ankle. Inhale, reach up, crescent pose. Exhale, sweep the arms down to your sides, clasp your hands. Reach the knuckles, bow over the forward leg. Inhale and reach up. Relax the shoulders, move the shoulders down your back, reach forward. Let's do that one more time, press into your forward toes. Keep your balance, all four sides of the foot pressing down. Two sides on your heel, two sides on the ball of the foot, and then bow forward. Excellent. Take it into a twist. Right hand down. Reach the left arm up right there. Press the, the hand down. And you can move the foot out just a bit so you have more balance. Breathe. Inhale. Look forward. Reach your arms up. Step forward. And you can step into bent knees, bent at the hips, chair pose right here. Sink down and then stand all the way up. Reach the arms out to your sides, then bring your left knee up, changing sides. So get your balance, bring the legs, knees side by side. First flex the knee at the knee joint, shoulders back, heel towards the glute, feel your hamstring, then bring the knee up in the front, knee to the side, which engages the opposite side, just with that rotation, the torque, Place your foot on the inner thigh, standing tall, strong, concentration, starting off our practice, bringing you in, being present, reach the arms to the sides, and again, moving into a flow, lift up your left knee, start to Guide that leg back behind you, disappears out of your, your sight. Extend the leg back behind you, find the ground. Proprioception, where's the ground behind you? Inhale and reach up, crescent pose, exhale, hands behind the back, clasp, reach, reach the chest towards the forward leg. Inhale and lift up. Carefully, use the legs. Use the core, lifting up. So engaging the core muscles. One more time. Inhale and lift up. Reach your arms straight up. Exhale, left hand to the mat. Reach the right arm up. Here's your twist. Reach up. Exhale. Crescent pose. Inhale, look forward. Step forward into chair pose, right into the next flow. Exhale, fold. Lengthen and look forward. Place your, place your hands at your shins, look forward. Hold right there for a moment, feel your back flat. Abs contracted, breathing in and out. Exhale, plant your hands on the floor, bend your knees and step back plank. Hold, three breaths. Separate your feet, right there. All right, for one breath, lift your, hover the right leg. There's your left glute. 
and your flexors. Set that foot down, left leg hovers, and set it down, lower down to the mat. Cobra pose, put your feet on the floor, the top of your feet, press those feet down, elbows draw in. Lift up your chest away from the floor, a little back bend right there. Get comfortable, look at the mat, and you can press your forehead down, feel your abs contract, can, and then press and lift up a little bit higher into cobra pose. Exhale, lower, tap the forehead to the ground, the mind's eye and then lift up, pull the chest away from the floor. Maybe you can extend the arms straight and then lower, tap the forehead down to the mat and then press and lift right there. Keep pressing, thighs off the mat, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal your heels right and left. Look forward, bend your knees. Step to the front of your mat. Second balancing pose. Shift or half lift. Exhale and fold. Relax your arms and your neck. Inhale with a flat back, stand tall. Reach up overhead. Hands to your heart. Bring your right knee up. Pull that knee into your chest. Right there. Lower back stretch. Now grab your you need a strap, go ahead and grab, grab a strap and place it around your foot. Reach the left arm over to the left. And then reach on the inside of your leg and grab your big toe. Don't pull too hard on that big toe, but use your strength holding that leg up. Core muscles involved, leg strength, extend the leg straight. Left arm to the left, palm facing up like you're holding something there and you're not gonna let it drop. Straighten the both legs. Draw your shoulder back and down on the right side. Let your foot go. See if you can hold it up at the same height. Just see for five, four, three, two, and then one. Nicely done. Let's try the other side. Requires a lot of strength to hold that leg up like that. Let's bring the left knee up right there. And then get your balance on that right foot. If you're quivering, you can set your foot back down and reset. All right, shoulders back, hold. So start by using your strength first before you grab your big toe. Reach the right arm over to the right. Turn your palm up, reach, strap our big toe. Don't pull too hard on that big toe. Toes pointing up, straight legs right there. Look forward. Now just see, can you hold that leg up the same height without holding? Five, four, three, two, and then one. Lower down and let's flow. Inhale, nicely done. Reach up, look up at your hands. Exhale, fold over. Lengthen and look forward. Hold for a moment, feel your abs lifting up halfway. You can put your hands at your shins. This is half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands and step back, plank, hold. <clears throat> right leg hovers, right there, left leg hovers. One more time on each side, left side. And lower down, shift forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, lift your chest up through, press your, the top of your feet into the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal your heels. Lift your right leg up. Step your right foot forward. This time, coming into warrior two. Setting up for triangle pose right here. Reach the arms, look back at your back hand. When you look back, I want you to reach that back arm or the arm back so that your shoulder, shoulders are over your hips right there. So not like this, you're right here. And then you can make an adjustment to your knee right there so knee over the ankle and your knee will start to tip in like that so you got to resist that use your inner thigh muscle so that strong muscle right there strengthening it more holding this position this warrior position look over the front hand there's your warrior strong warrior position pressure feet down now straighten the forward leg 
do a reverse lunge or a reverse warrior with the front leg straight and then reach forward, reach forward, reach forward. All right, so right here, point your hip, your left hip down and then reach down for the floor right there. Pull your abs in, reach the arm up. Tight hamstrings right here, carefully hold the position, reach the arm over the head for extended triangle pose and breathe. Push into the forward foot, warrior two, beautiful. Reverse, let's do side angle. And then we'll do a balancing pose, half moon. Forearm right here, turn your palm up. So right here, base position. A little bit, if your foot's getting away from you, sliding out, bring that foot in just enough that you feel comfortable. Knee over ankle right here. All right, so then reach down and maybe you touch your fingers to the floor. Right there, arm over the ear. There's your side angle. Look down. Half moon balancing pose. I'm going to put my hand at my hip, get stability, reach my right hand, line my thumb up with my pinky toe, and slide the foot in. And you can use a block right here like this. Since we have our blocks, why not use them? There are arm extenders or lengtheners. <laughs> reach the opposite arm up. Solid half moon pose, flex your feet, straighten that right leg, don't lock it though. Look to the side and then maybe look up at your hand. Super hard, challenge, right? Look down, set your foot on the floor, bring it back up, reach up, right here, reverse. Reach over, place your hands on the floor, right arm up. Twist, like we did in the very beginning. Twist right there, and then side plank. So press into the floor, center of the foot, or foot in the center, or stack your legs right here. And you wanna flex your feet strong, body straight, arm over the ear, lift your hips, breathe. Set your right hand down. Chaturanga, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe, pedal your heels. Lift your left leg up. Press the floor away. Bring your knee in, step your left foot forward. Spin your heel down, warrior two. Let's set up. Hi Maxwell, how are you? Reach your arms forward and back. Right there. Look back at your back hand. Then reach that back arm so your shoulders are over your, your hips. Look over the front hand. Strong warrior pose. Press that left knee out. Feel your inner thigh right there. Engagement. Reverse and straighten the forward leg. Triangle pose. Press your feet down. Reach your left arm forward as far as you can and then turn your right hip towards the mat and then reach down slowly. Grip the mat with your toes so that if you're sliding, you start to maintain arm over the ear. Breathe, look out to the side or turn your gaze up much harder. Look down, bend your knee in the front, reverse warrior to side angle. Right here or right here. So start moving smoothly and very methodically as you move from pose to pose and then hold static or isometric. Press your feet down. That made my glutes squeeze right there, just pressing down. Now look down at the mat, half moon pose. So slide your foot, put your right hand on your hip, left hand on the block or the floor, lift up. Balance, press your foot down, squeeze the glute over there, open your body to the side, reach the right arm up. And if you fall out, it's okay, you can come back. Turn your gaze towards the hand, which is super, super hard with balance to turn where your drishti is. Now look down, or turning your gaze, 
Place your right hand on the floor. Set your right foot down. Use your left leg strength, core strength, warrior two. Go ahead and reverse it. Spin the right hand down to the mat. Half our side plank. Foot in the center or stack your legs. Body straight. Reach up. Arm over the ear. Lift the hips. Press the hand down. Beautiful job. And now lift the arm up. Look down at the mat. Vinyasa. So very carefully. Shift forward. Lower down. Upward facing dog. Or cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Put your knees on the mat. Child's pose right here. So lift your ribs, reach your arms forward, put your forehead down, relax the forearms to the mat, and sweep the right arm to the right side, left arm to the left side, relaxing the shoulders forward, inhaling and exhaling. Now lift up your head, grab your, one, grab your block, and like we did in bridge pose, I want you to bring the block between, so it's like this, the block between your knees, and squeeze, squeeze the block. So same principle here, when you have the block between your legs, you're engaging the inner thigh muscles, right? So then tuck your toes, and wiggle those toes under right there. Camel pose, Ustrasana. So start with your hands back here behind your back. And you're going to press into the lower back right there. And then tuck your pelvis just slightly, but then lean your shoulders back right there. So there's your back bend. And then lift up. So the same principle or same idea are actions as when we're coming up into bridge pose. So you don't want to overarch the spine, but you want to pull the pelvis under, shoulders back, and squeeze that block between the knees. And then maybe, and if you lean your head back enough, keep the engagement of the legs, maybe you can reach for the ankles. Feel your inner thighs, look up at the ceiling, take another breath in, and then exhale and lift up. How is that? Maybe the first time you've ever done you stress another right way, right? But the key things here are engaging the inner thigh muscles, right? So even if we have, take the block out of the picture, still you can, with your mind, engage the inner thigh muscles. And then, similar to glute bridge, kind of tuck the pelvis, put your hands at your lower back, or Reach up if you can tuck your pelvis without putting your hands back there. And then lean back, lean your shoulders back, and then reach your hands to your ankles. If you can do that, breathe. Inner thighs engaged, feel that. Open the chest, press your thighs forward, lean your head back, and there you are. Done, hands on the mat. Downward facing dog. Step to your hands, inhale, lengthen, then exhale and fold, and inhale and rise. Lord of the Dance Pose. So Lord of the Dance Pose is, is a back bend, standing back bend, if you want to call it that. So standing in your left leg, let's do the right leg first. I'll turn slightly to the side so you can see me at an angle. All right, so starting with your right leg, bend your knee, reach behind and grab your foot. Now you can also put a strap around your foot. And so start with your knees side by side and just reach up, stretching your quadricep. And then maybe, or not maybe, <laughs> try this. Extend the chest forward and bring the knee back. Right there and hold, breathe in. Now lean more. Slightly parallel chest to the floor, and then start to lift the back leg, press the foot in the hand, 
to lift your chest and gaze forward. Relax the shoulders, standing left leg straight, not locked. Take a breath in and then bring it in. Nicely done. Lift your knee up in the front, stretch the ankle rotation, and then set that down. Let's do the other side. So the left leg, bend the knee behind you, strap around the foot or grab the top of your foot. Standing leg, straight, but not locked, okay? So shoulders back, and you can also put your hand on the ends a little harder, hand on the inside of the arch of the foot so that your shoulder is externally rotated. It's really the appropriate way to have your arm or the position of your hand and your foot. And then reach, and you have a if you have a strap, same thing applies. Reach forward, but then once you're here, lift the leg and lift the chest. Press the foot into the hand, looking forward, smile, big smile, and then bring it in, lift the knee up, rotate your foot. <laughs> Nicely done, other way. Set your foot down. All right, last flow, inhale, and we'll finish in bridge pose and practice will. Exhale, fold. Let's put it together. Inhale, lengthen. Plant your hands, step back, plank, vinyasa, lower down, up dog or cobra, press the floor away, press the top of your feet into the floor, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, step your right foot forward, inhale, warrior two, reverse, straighten your forward leg, reach your right arm forward, turn your hip towards the mat. Reach your hand down, fingertips to the floor, arm up over the ear. Pull your abs in, breathe. Look down at your toes, bend your knee. Go ahead and hold, use a block right there. Half moon pose. Lift, your, lift the left leg, flex your foot, reach the arm, then just try. Challenge, look up at your hand. Press your foot down, breathe. Now set your foot down, warrior two, reverse, side plank, hand on the floor, prop or stack your legs, reach the arm up and over the ear. Nicely done. Look down, hand to the floor, and vinyasa. Last one, guys. Lower down, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe, left leg up. Step your left foot forward. Spin your heel down. Go ahead and set your block up for your half moon. Inhale, preparing. Relax your shoulders. Reverse, straighten the forward leg. Now arms straight, leg in the front straight. Reach forward, turn your right hip towards the floor and then sweep the hand down. Arm up, arm over the ear, extended triangle pose, draw the shoulder back, press into your feet. In fact, rock the weight into your heels. Beautiful, bend your forward knee, half moon, just try. Up, flex, reach the arm, draw the shoulders down, your back, flex your foot, and then maybe you can turn your gaze looking straight out. And then maybe you can turn your gaze looking up at your hand. Scary, right? Flex your foot. <laughs> All right, bend your knee, set your foot on the floor. Don't plunk down, warrior two. Here's your side plank. Right hand, go to the edge of your foot, stack your legs, reach, arm over the ear, lift the hips, breathe, press the floor away. Nicely done. Look at the mat. Set your knees on the mat, child's pose. Sweep the arms to your sides. And now lift up, push the floor away. Come into a seated position on your mat.
without blocks. Or maybe let's do, let's, let's do one time, one bridge pose so you get the engagement with your mind and your body with the aid of a prop. So the block, same direction as your legs. Put your heels down. Put your head down on the floor. If a ponytail's in the way, move it. All right. Now you're really warmed up. So you should probably feel a little more height when you lift up. Squeeze the block between your legs. There's your inner thigh engagement, your leg adductors. You want to use those to lift. Here's the thing. Remember this. Most importantly, press your back down. You're tilting your pelvis slightly. Now, gather your shoulders underneath you. Press them down. So that's a shelf. Again, pull the back to the mat. Then lift up right here and squeeze. Maybe this time, bring your arms underneath you, but keep the pelvis tilted and lift up right there. Inner thighs engaged, right? Breathe, look up. Relaxed breathing, relaxed jaw, relaxed shoulders. Slowly lower down. Lower back on the mat for a moment. Remove the block. Do that again without the block. We will finish with some good tension releasing poses for the hips and the lower back. All right? So stay with me. Bridge pose again without the block. Find your heels with your fingers or with your middle finger. Then tilt the pelvis, press your shoulders down, tilt again, press into your feet, lift up. Slide your arms underneath you. Get a a really good, strong glute bridge pose right there. Press the pinkies down into the floor. So it really takes working through details like this and poses to really get good at your practice. And then we always need refreshers for because it's a lot of information. Our bodies want to take naturally the path of least resistance. And, you know, working out and doing yoga is, is about work and, you know, having your body um, in the right angles and doing things so that you won't injure yourself. The path of least resistance can often get us into injuries. Now unclasp your hands, lower down your hips to the floor. Beautiful job. And just relax for a moment. And you can let your knees just tip in and touch each other. Bring your arms to the side and just relax. Let Gravity pull you in. Several breaths. Bridge again or, or come up or try for will pose. I'll cue you through. And even if you just get a little bit off the ground with your head or your shoulders, it's a really strong pose, then you're getting there. You know, step by step, you'll get there. I thought I would never be able to do um, will pose, ever. And practice, and practice, and practice, excruciating, right? I didn't know if I was injuring my back through it all. But if you pay attention to engagement of the glutes, but not clenching or gripping the glutes, then that's really the key to all backbends. And so engagement of the inner thigh muscles, right, by pressing into, I mean, you can even put your hands right here and engage your inner thigh muscles and feel that, right? So what did you have to do? You probably press into your big toe, big toes, and then your heels right there to engage your inner thigh muscles. All right, so let's do it. Glute bridge or wheel pose. Hands over your shoulders, fingertips pointing towards your shoulders, and then you're going to draw your elbows in towards each other. Press your lower back into the floor, and then you're going to lift to the crown of the head, and then press up. Reach the chest. Breathe. And then lower down slowly. Tuck your chin all the way. Head comes to the mat, and then lower down. And just be for a moment. No need to move. Just be. Knees come in to touch each other. Relax your shoulders and breathe. 
Nice to finish with a challenging pose, some, probably the hardest thing you'll do today, right? Maybe. <laughs> Bring your right knee into your chest. It's good to have perspective, something physical, because the days can be challenging from all angles, right? Things, come, things to do, people to deal with. So right knee into your chest, left leg out straight, press your hand into the thigh, And now place your right ankle on your left knee. Just like we did in the beginning, press the knee away. Here's your piriformis stretch. You can flex your feet, relax your shoulders. And we are almost there. Now set your left foot on the floor. Bring your arms out like a T. Tip the knees over to the side. Look over to the left and relax. You did it. Relax into closing your eyes and feeling everything in your body integrate. All that work that you did, translating into progress and keeping your body healthy. Lift up your knees and bring your left knee into your chest, right leg out straight. Press your right hand down into the thigh. Keep the left knee in. Relax your shoulders. You can rotate your foot. Rotate the other way. Place your left ankle on your right knee. Piriformis stretch. Press the left knee away. Reach your hands through. Pull the legs in. Relax your shoulders. Now release the thigh, place your foot on the floor. Arms out like a T. Tip the knees over to the other side and look over. Pull your back in towards the mat. Lift up, tip the knees side to side, feet on the floor, wide feet, so bring your feet like the width of the mat, tip the knees over to the side, push all the way up to a seated position, and let's close class together. You did an amazing job. Thank you for showing up. Thumbs to the brow and gratitude. Thumbs to the heart. Or palms, hands to the heart. Relax your sh the shoulders. In thanks. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you showing up and practicing with me this morning. I will see you again next time. Bye.